Earlier this week, during our first annual fleet safety conference, we addressed nuclear verdicts using proper driver file management. Now, one audience question was, when a crash occurs in a work zone, what changes? There are a few major risks here. So the first is that if it's not an active work zone at the time, your driver may or may not comply with the reduced speed limit restrictions. Additionally, there are more potential parties, say the contractor working in that zone, that could end up suing you following the crash. On the other end, there are usually more witnesses that can prove that you were behaving as a safe fleet at the time of the crash. But no matter, it's always easiest to avoid work zones when possible because they are a higher risk environment to drive through. For a deeper dive into nuclear verdicts, you can read the summary slides of this conversation and more at the link above. Thank you so much. My name is Gina Barbario, and this has been another 60 Seconds of Safety.